Last thing I could tell you I remember is being here at the high school that night. The night, June 3rd, 2013, Jake Burnside ended up here in the hospital. A crash left him fighting for his life. I had many surgeries on my face, my collarbone, my spinal cord, and I had broken ribs. Jake had so many broken bones in his face, the plastic surgeon implanted eight metal plates and 40 screws. I'll get a chill sometimes because of all those plates and screws in there. As Jake went through surgery after surgery, the hospital halls were full of his friends. His recovery even caught the attention of some well-known visitors. I had a little smile on my face and saw Doug McDermott and Gary McDermott staying there really really brighten my day and they were great guys. Then it was on to rehab at Madonna in Lincoln. This is one of his first moments there. Jake noticeably thin. He lost more than 40 pounds. I was struggling. It was hard for me to walk on my own. Jake's friend Jordan came to help him through the tough rehab days. Jake's family by his side through it all. My mom was there from 8 in the morning, 8 at night every day, driving back and forth to Fremont. After almost two months, it was time to go home to Fremont, a community he is proud of. I feel like this community is doing a great job of handling the situation. Now in his senior year, Jake has fought his way back to the basketball court, but he admits it was tougher than he ever imagined. I couldn't even jump off the ground and shoot it, and I just thought, I stopped for a second, I was exhausted, and I thought, I'm never going to be able to play again. He didn't give up, and today he can jump, and he is ready to stand by the teammates who stood beside him when he needed it most. I just feel incredibly blessed to be here. Three of Jake's friends did not survive the crash. Jake's family has asked us not to show pictures of the crash scene out of respect for their families. It's just a